What's up guys, it's BT here, and this is the review of the Holy Pandas Switch. It's one of the most sought after tactile switches on the market today. It almost has like a cult following now because of how popular it has become. So naturally I had to see what all the hype was about and I picked some up on the lastdrop.com group buy of the Inver Holy Pandas. Now they were super expensive. I think I paid about $90 for 70 switches. Oh, and you thought the Zelioses were expensive? This is a whole nother level. <laughs> There are also other ways you can make the switch yourself from using the housing of a B-Sun or G-Sus and then taking the stem from a Halo True or a Halo Clear switch and placing them into that housing. You can also make them from these Yacht Trash, Red or Mint Pandas by adding in those True or Clear switches as well. But I'm going to talk about the version that I got. Now I got them from Drop and this version comes pre-lubed and I've heard horror stories of people having their switches over lubed and the lube running onto the side of the boxes and they're just being oversaturated, just too much, right? For me though, it felt like there was little to no lube use, so I just wiped whatever was on there and put on my own Tribosis 3203 lube on there. And of course, I'll be linking the lube that I use down below if you guys wanna check that out as well. Now the stems themselves, like mentioned before, are made from the Halo Clears and the Halo True stems with housing found from the Inver Panda switches. Now the polycarbonate top housing and the nylon bottom housing are both from the original Panda switch tooling. Now the spring is rated at 67 grams, but it doesn't feel like that at all, let me tell you guys, because at the bottom of the switch, there's a very pleasant, smooth feeling that doesn't force your finger back up upon bottoming out. Now, every time I feel and hear these holy pandas, it just sends chills up my spine. There's a little bit of pre-travel before the bump actually hits, and the bump is more towards the middle as opposed to higher up like on the Zelios V2s. Now, when I compare it to my Zelios 67 grams, the bump is very light in comparison with those switches. I'll always love my Zelioses in all weights, but words cannot describe how good the Holy Pandas feel and sound. You really have to experience for yourself. Now, one thing I did notice is that there was a slight wobble uh, when compared to the Zelioses the Zelioses are more of a solid feeling switch. Now compared to a Gatoron Brown or a Cherry MX Brown, these are less scratchy. It's like comparing a tennis ball to a pool table billiard ball. These are that smooth. Now let's drop a sound test so you guys can hear what I'm talking about firsthand. Oh yeah. Mm. 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 Even, <laughs> even the audio, as good as it is on this video, cannot really capture the true essence and the sound of this switch. As a matter of fact, let's drop another sound test for you guys right about now. just never gets old. I could sit here all day and just just listen to the switch. It just, mm. I've seen people say that these are just for typing, but I beg to differ. These feel great for gaming. And I truly believe that with enough practice, you can actually make any switch work for you for gaming. So I didn't feel like it interfered with my 80, 80, 80 strafing in game and my shooters. So, hey, that's more than good enough for me. And if it can work for typing and for gaming, I'm all for it. Now, in short, these switches are incredible. These have replaced my Zelios 62 grams and the 67 gram switches as my number one switch. We'll see if another switch can actually come through and topple this switch for me. <coughs> Inks. <coughs> and I really gotta, I gotta get this uh, cold checked out, man. This cough is not good. Anyways, guys, time will tell, but for right now, as far as tactility goes, it's hard to use anything else once you feel this amazing bump. All right, guys, it has been your boy BT. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.